I'm Ben Jackson, I'm from Houston, Texas. I majored in biomedical sciences with a chemistry minor and a business minor. So when I graduated, I naturally became a magician. I traded medical school for magic. I've made a specialty of using magic to reach people in unexpected ways. When the Houston Museum of Natural Science asked me to be their spokesperson, I created some magical content to boost attendance. I turned ancient papyrus into $100 bills, produced a dinosaur bone from nowhere, and made priceless diamonds magically appear. Oh, missed one. Then, tell her, I've created this one just for you. Joined by a random member of our studio audience, Texas magician Ben Jackson. Come on, bro. Hey. Good to see you. Thank you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Good to see you. I'm Team. happy to help if I can. Oh, you're going to knock it out of the park. Team, before we get started, I want you to know that in high school, I was president of the Latin Club. Oh. Which means I was also voted, most likely, to become a magician. Right, Teller? Uh huh. Yeah, Carpe mm -hmm. Diem, brother, right there. Pound it. Tempest Fugit girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you see, Teller taught high school Latin and Greek for six years, which means he's familiar with the story of Theseus from Greek mythology, a man who entered into a labyrinth to slay the Minotaur. In order to navigate the twists and turns of the maze, he used one of these a clue. C L E W, an antiquated term for a ball of yarn. Ingeniously, he tied one end to the entrance. He unraveled it as he strolled through, and then he simply followed the yarn back to the beginning to make sure he never got lost. And that's the origin story of the word clue, C-L-U-E, as we know it today, because a clue is a guide to help solve a mystery. Classic story, deserves a classic piece of magic, so we'll use a length of yarn, a knitting needle, and that barred ring. Sir, now's that time? Very good. Here's the beauty in this. There's no big boxes, no laser lights, no flashy props. Just a ring, a yarn, and some help. Brooke, please okay. hold on to the ends, please. Very good. Now look, the only way that the ring gets off the yarn is through the ends. Unless you find the sweet spot, which is right here. Once, twice, off. What? Please calm down, all of you. Calm what? down, very good. I know. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> now, Brooke, yes. did you let go of the ends? I did not. That makes that impossible. Fantastic. Sir, we're going to do it again as fairly as I can. As you can definitely see, it's on there. I'm sensing some trust issues from this man. Okay, no, it really is on there. It really is. Okay. Brooke, you're going to watch the ends. Okay. You're going to watch the ring. <gasps> I'm going to do it until you enjoy it. Okay, sir, here we go. Get... <laughs> no, well, here's the deal. Look at this. Take a mental snapshot. Really burn that image in your mind. And realize that ring really is on that yarn. A little insider baseball. Here's what I'm not doing. I don't go over like this and pull. I massage. The metal heats up. Pops what? off. That's the easy part. Hard part is to come back like this and go right back on. That's the hard part. Oh, yeah. Oh, now he's good. Oh, now he's good. Very good. Okay. That's amazing. One last time. Clearly going through. We're going to isolate the ring. Multitask okay. right here. Can you guys multitask? I can. We're going to find out. You can do it, bro. <laughs> That's right. Hold on the end there for me, sir. Thank you. Actually, with your other hand, please. And would you hold on the other hand, Brooke? Yes. Very good. See the cap right there? Yes. Hold on to the cap, please. Okay. Sir, lean in. Hold on to that point. Very good. Now, I can't go this way. I can't go this way. Okay. You can only go forward once, twice. Don't move. <gasps> Done. What? Uh, what? Yes. I'm telling you right now. Look at that. I mean. Look at that. That's cool. Solid has passed through solid. I get chills being around me. I really do. I really do. <laughs> One last time, I'll do it as fairly and as slowly as I can. Ready? Yes. Sir, say go. Go. Gone. Gone. Not on the yarn. Not on the hands. Not on me. It's back at the beginning. No way. I didn't say on your finger. I just said back at the beginning. I'm just saying. No way. Would it freak me out, man? Oh Way out right there. No. That'd be crazy. But at the beginning of what? At the beginning of what? I'll give you a clue. See? This is what the show's all about. Penn and Teller search for clues. Magicians come on this stage, and they weave their tangled web of deception. And it's up to Penn and Teller to watch intently and to decipher in real time as to what they're looking at if it's a genuine clue, or if it's just misdirection. Those aren't the clues I'm looking for. It's neither of those. Toss them, team, toss them. Yeah, go crazy. We're having a party. Not that one, or this one, or this one, or that one. Oh my goodness. Oh, right uh, down there, at the very bottom, e pluribus unum, out of many, one. 
Brooke? Yes. Take that whole thing out. Okay. Hold it right there. This is the clue we've been looking for. This is the clue in question. Because we've been using the end the entire time. And like Theseus, we have to get back to the beginning. Okay. Brooke, take out your right hand palm up, please. Hold tightly. Okay. Very good. Sir, hold on to the end. Both magic and mythology produce a powerful effect, even though it's just pretend. Because we can't help but knit ourselves into the narrative. We envision slaying the monsters of our own lives, navigating through impossible conditions and wielding the elements at our fingertips. We all want to know how the story ends, especially this man. <laughs> Can you cup your hands, sir? Empty the contents into his hand, please. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'll wow. take the jar. Okay. Sir, would you be so kind to uh, untie the ribbon and then hand me the ribbon? Friends, the beauty of magic does not lie in the deception. It lies in the moments of connection. And brother, this moment is just for you. Slowly open that box. Whose ring is that? That's mine. Give me a round of applause, fantastic. Yes! Brother, you're the man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We really appreciate your help this afternoon. Wow, the amazing Ben Jackson, everyone. That was mind blowing. Oh, good. Can you recall a particular life lesson? Did magic teach you something oh. significant in your life? I think magic has taught me to be so thankful. My mom has been cleaning teeth for 30 years. And I remember one day I called my mom on the phone and said, Mom, I'm getting ready for a gig. I'm not feeling really great about it. I didn't really want to go. I was kind of down in the dumps. She said, oh, you want to go to your magic show? Your magic show where people clap and they just applaud and they go ooh and ah over your magic tricks and you're not feeling great about that? Well, boo hoo, right? Oh and God. so, you know, she said, Ben, you know how people clap and applaud for me after I clean their teeth? None. <laughs> Nobody. No one does this. So be thankful. Be oh, thankful that you sweet. get to bring joy to people. That's so, sweet. Yeah. Okay, Ben. Everybody ready? Let's see if Penn and Teller have a clue as to how you worked your magic. Fair enough. Boys? Hey, Ben, that was, that was really nice. You put together really, uh, really different stuff. I mean, the, the, uh, the, the ring in the ball of wool is a Victorian trick. Yes. It's, in, it's in all the magic books. We were all ready for that from the moment you came out with the, uh, with the ball of yarn. We said, oh, well, that's where the needle's going. But what we didn't anticipate was the jar being in there. And that was a really really nice idea and all that string stuff does not go back to victorian times there's a lot of new stuff uh, you invented there so by giving a history of it i'm trying not to take away from you you set the whole thing up with teller being a latin teacher and i was needling teller to try to give the explanation in latin and unfortunately some of the words we want to use were not around then but teller did Write one thing in Latin that I think might give you a hint. You want to show them that? These are two Latin scholars conversing. Uh, it's been a while. It's been, it's been, it's been a while. <laughs> I think what it means is that you didn't fool us. Oh. Does that make sense? You know what? They're the is smartest that... guys in the room for, for a reason, so you gotta hand it to them. I guess they got me. Uh... Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. Ben Jackson, who just did some amazing magic with yarn and a ring. I was up close and personal. It was amazing. He didn't fool Penn and Teller, but the boys have asked us to bring him back to have a quick word with him. Penn, Teller. Ben, everything we said positive about you is absolutely true. But as you know very well, and they don't know, we talked to you backstage during the commercial, and you told us in detail how you did the trick, and we thought we had it, and we didn't. Ben, you fooled us. Wait, we what? were wrong. You deserve this. Wow. You know what? You guys 
These are so cool. It turns out Ben Jackson just fooled Penn and Teller, and we've got another potential fooler for these guys right here.